Welcome to SimpleKidsCrafts.com, episode 692, how to make pants and shorts for your Monster High and Barbie girls and boys. Materials, fabric, pattern, pen, needle, thread, and scissors. Hi, today we're going to be making pants for both boys and girls, and I will start with the boys. These are the boys, and you can see that they have different ways as well as the length of their legs is a little bit different for the girls it's the same thing so I have made patterns for each one of them and the patterns look like this and they will have who I'm making them for if you want to make them into shorts you simply take the same pattern and then cut to the size that you want on the screen you can see that I'll be making long pants as well as shorts I'm using recycled fabric for one of them and then I'm using stretchy fabric for the shorts so I'll start by drawing the pattern into the fabric and then cutting that off and then after I have cut off the fabric then I should have two pieces that look like this and what we will do is to put the two pieces together and we will sew on one side we will basically sew only on the top because this will be the seam for the front of the pants. So after I have sewn that back and forth a couple of times, I'm going to start sewing on each leg for the pants. I will fold it in this manner and then I'll start sewing all the way up. This is pretty easy. The instructions are very, very easy to follow. And what I like to do is to sew up and down a couple of times so that I can secure the actual leg of the pan. I think it's a good idea that way the sewing doesn't come off. I'm sewing each leg for the pants and after I'm done with that then I am going to go ahead and sew the back of the pants. For the long pants I'm going to sew only halfway through and for the short pants I'm going to sew completely. The reason why is because the shorts are from stretchy fabric and the long pants are not. So we want to also sew the top portion, the one that will go to the waist as well, and we will fold that inwards. Now that we have sewn the pants, it is time to move the fabric from the bad portion of the fabric to the good portion of the fabric or reverse, if you will. And then what you get is basically the pants already done. The shorts don't need anything else, they're done because they're from stretchy fabric, but the long pants we have to uh, finish off. And for that, I can use several things. I can use snap buttons, I can use the little uh, hooks that you have at stores, the Velcro, or I can even use elastic. And I will choose to use the snap buttons, that way I can close and open up the pants from the back. So I'm going to take the smallest one that I have, and I am going to attach that to the back of the pants. After I have sewn this, the pants are ready to be used and we just simply have to slide them on to the models or to our dolls. And the cool thing about the patterns that I have given you guys is that you can actually use them for Monster High, for candles, for any kind of doll. And again, the link to where you can download the patterns is on the screen. After we're done, then we will cut off the excess and we can close and open our pants and that's it that's basically what the pants look like you can actually also put decoration on the pants or make them look a little bit more real like to have pockets and stuff by using a yellow thread on the side of the pants as well as in the middle but this tutorial is for simple pants only so i hope that you um, are able to make the pants first so that's really why I have done this short tutorial and here are the shorts and one interesting fact about the shorts is that they can fit on Barbie but they can also fit on Monster High boys and I really like that um, as you can see the pants fit really well and now let's try the same pants on Claude right here and you can see that the same pants also fit on him. So I have given you patterns for both the Monster High boys, the girls, and also for Barbie and Ken. Well, I hope that you enjoy this project and that you try it at home. And please stay tuned for the shout outs and also for fan pics. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.